Have you ever been a student with the perfect grades? But once you move past the school phase, life seems to present a different set of challenges. It turns out that success is not always about intelligence. Ever wonder why it is that those who excel at academics often find themselves struggling in the real world? In this video, we are going to list down a few reasons why intelligent people are not always successful. Watch this video until the end because we've got some things that you may not have ever thought about. Number 10. Social Skills Most intelligent people don't really focus on learning social skills. And this is where they make a significant mistake. Because social skills derive effective communication. How can a person thrive in the real world without knowing how to communicate effectively? Such people rely solely on their intelligence. And because they focus only on building their credentials, they start lacking in other aspects of life. Sometimes, a person's academic achievements tend to make them overconfident. This mindset of theirs makes them ignore their weaknesses, such as not having proper social skills. And it makes it difficult for them to build interpersonal relations in their professional life. Number 9. Academic Validation Most of these brainiacs thrive on academic validation. They become so dependent on academic success that their self-worth draws from high grades. This makes them vulnerable to problems in the real world, where success standards obviously differ. The fact that they have to work without constant affirmation, unlike their school life, makes them doubt themselves at every step. They get stuck with low self-esteem and fail to understand the challenges of life beyond academics. They tend to feel threatened whenever there is a situation where their IQ fails to help them. It's usually because they never thought about learning beyond the books. And because they usually can't deal with such situations, intelligent people choose to avoid being in such settings, and this holds them back from having different experiences. Number 8. Teamwork While some smart people tend to get overconfident and some suffer from low self-esteem, one thing remains common and it is the fact that these people cannot work with other people. And this is either because they think there are enough for the task and they don't need anyone else's help, or it's because they believe that their teammates will slow them down or ruin their hard work. Obviously, everyone cannot comprehend information at the same level. Still, instead of understanding their lack, they get frustrated when they have to work with someone who's less smart than them. At one point, they make their own metrics up. They feel responsible for carrying the entire burden of the task assigned, and they find it difficult to rely on others because no one can work up to the standards that they have set in their minds. This mindset might get them through school, but it gets even more challenging for them once they start their professional lives. Because when you are in the real world, you have to work in a group setting at some point. And because most intelligent people never learn to work with others, they tend to suffer in the real world. Number 7. Risk Aversers Research shows that intelligent people tend to be risk averse. It is evident that most successful people start off their journey with risky ideas. Today, all of us know the icon Elon Musk. He was not served success on a plate. He had to work for it too. He took the risk and even faced failures, but he chose to learn from those failures. And this is what differentiates intelligent people from others. They are not willing to try new things or get help from anyone. In the fear of losing what they already have, they let go of the opportunity to explore new things. Number 6. Change A majority of the intelligent population is resistant to change. They keep relying on their intelligence to help them with every situation. And when they face any change, they refuse to adapt. What they fail to understand is that change is a very crucial part of life, and you cannot be afraid of change. No matter how secure they may feel in their own bubble, they'll have to face the reality. Because how can one person progress further in their life when they can't accept the current change? Number 5. Complexifying Everything Why do you have to overanalyze something extremely simple? They spend too much of their time looking at the details that are unimportant at the end of the day. They use all their energy to analyze a situation from every angle, resulting in indecisiveness. And this delay in decision-making can cause so many opportunities to slip away. While they are busy second-guessing their every step, they create inconsistency for their colleagues or employees. 
Suppose an intelligent person is a project manager. In that case, he may confuse the team by constantly changing the workflow or the strategy. And how can a team succeed with an unreliable manager? Number four, emotional intelligence. It's high time for people to realize that only the intelligence quotient will not help them succeed in life. While they may excel in a situation requiring cognitive skills, they will find themselves stuck when asked to interact in a social setting. How can a person manage the burden of a profession when they cannot even manage one's emotions? An intelligent person's lack of emotional intelligence causes conflicts for them in their work environment. In addition to that, you need emotional intelligence to cope with a stressful situation. Intelligence quotient is of no use when a person ends up making rash decisions that negatively affect their careers, just because they were stressed and didn't know how to deal with it. Number three, theory over practice. The real world requires practical experience and hands-on skills. Bookish knowledge can help you to an extent, but from there on, you need the ability to work with practical aspects. Success is a combination of both technical and soft skills, so you can't expect success to knock on your door when the only card you have is knowledge. You have to go beyond the concepts that you've learned in your academic life and learn actual world applications because that is what's going to help you in your professional life. Sometimes you have to step out of your comfort zone and accept the world's requirements from you to be successful. Number two, networking. No matter what field you're working in, you are going to need connections and a network to move forward in the industry. Networking is extremely important for your career development. Not only does it get you potential collaborators, but it can also provide you with better opportunities and compensation. Intelligent people often believe that their achievements and academics speak for themselves and underestimate the importance of an effective network. Let us say an intelligent person manages to build a relatable network. How can he take advantage of it with his lack of social skills? You can't create an effective network with one meeting. It requires maintaining the relationship over the course of time. A person with no social skills might find it hard to converse with the person again and again. Number one, imposter syndrome. Don't worry, it's not about the game. Some individuals with a high intelligence quotient often suffer from imposter syndrome. Despite all their successes and achievements, they constantly doubt themselves to the extent that they cannot even accept a compliment about their smartness. They feel like frauds who could be exposed at any point in time. This continuous self-doubt can take a harsh jab at their confidence. When a person suffers from imposter syndrome, he or she might willingly lose a beneficial opportunity just because they think that they don't deserve it. This causes them to suffer to a greater level in the corporate world. Where everyone is wanting to grab an opportunity, no one is going to wait for you to come to terms with yourself and seize the opportunity. In fact, they will be waiting for you to pass on the chances so that they can make the best of them. So, once you enter the real world, you are your own savior. You can't wait for people to validate your actions and convince you that you are worthy of a position. You have to value yourself. You have to keep in mind all your achievements and your credentials and tell yourself that you deserve every opportunity that comes your way. Do you agree with these? Would you like to add something to these factors? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See ya!